Hi y'all, it's Spanky with Spanky's Crafty Corner. Welcome to my very first video. I'm going to try and do videos once a week and two live streams a week in time. So as you can see I have a jolly plate in front of me. Uh, this was gifted to me from my soon to be roommate. I'll be here in a week. I'm excited. A few of you have met him in Melissa's group, 70 Acre Studio, on YouTube, and The Flock on Facebook. It's a fun group. If you aren't in there, you should join it. We have a blast. So, I'm going to make some jelly prints, something I'm new to. I'm not even sure the whole concept of how to and what not to. I watched a few videos, but I'm still confused. I dabble in a lot of different art forms. I draw, I paint, I sew, I write poetry, I love to garden. Um, that's love, love, love gardening. I love to go fishing. Uh, there's a lot about me a lot of you don't know yet. Um, one of the reasons I was skeptical on doing a videos and I swore I'd never do them was I have lupus and I have two forms of lupus and I also have psoriasis so I'm very self-conscious and due to having to wear gloves and other things at work with chemicals and constantly hand sanitizing my hands because the stuff that we touch I have flare-ups with my psoriasis and being sick doesn't help so I have redness to my skin and some spots my skin pigments gone so I'm very self-conscious and I'm still learning to love me for me so that's where we start right <laughs> so anyways that's a little bit about me um, so I guess let's get started this is a 12 by 12 plate um, it comes with I took the plastic piece off the top already and I stuck this down and well sat it down didn't realize it was gonna stick to it but so here's my plate I did play yesterday with it and I did record a video yesterday but due to pixie barking constantly because the neighbors the lighting was really off and things like that it just I was ashamed of it so I didn't post it but this one's getting posted no matter what so it does have a film on each side like acetate I don't know if this bottom piece comes off I'm assuming it does to prevent it from slipping and sliding so I don't know if that really makes a difference but it doesn't really slide much on this my I have a cutting mat underneath which is for my quilt making and things like that I also have like shelf liners uh, this one I believe I got it at Dollar Tree it's smooth on one side and kind of textured on the other it comes clean like easily so I like using that as my work surface I do have a craft mat the brown craft mat and a couple other type of um, heat resistant mat and we went out of focus there we go I'm still new to this and back out of focus again <laughs> let's put a quiz note card down and see if that helps there we go I'm gonna be using that to spread things it's just a old gift card I don't know how to zoom in as far I I'm still new to all this so I'm sorry if things get out of focus or wacky I'm still new to all this so bear with me please I'm, I'm really sh nervous I'm very shy when you first get to know me in person online it's a little different but in person I'm very very shy so this is really awkward for me <laughs> but anyways let's get started I have this prayer which I got four years ago five years ago 
with a Mod Podge set. I don't, it's okay. I don't really like it that much because it does leave ridges and things from the side. This one, the squirrel, got me. We actually thought it was bigger, but it's only two and a half inches. So sometimes size does matter. Just saying. Haha. <laughs> and this one is a speed ball sprayer. I do not like the rubber on this one. I don't know why. It just doesn't seem like it comes clean very good. And I just, I don't know. I don't really care for this one. But we'll probably be using it. I have a composition book down here by my legs. So I can roll the paint off onto paper when I'm done. I have some stencils we'll use. that Some I made, some I got. I have my baby wipes right here. Let's see here. Baby wipes handy. I have some Lysol cleaning wipes because I like to use those to wipe up my surface. I have a few things for adding different types of textures to my print once it's down. I have this goes to my oh they're I think unstoppables. It's like little ball things you put in your washer to make them smell your clothes smell pretty after you know whatever. So I'll use and it smells so good. So I'll be using that as something. This is a adhesive stencil. It's like fish scales. And Pixie's barking. Come here. What's the matter? It's okay. No, 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 no. Quiet. Quiet. Neighbor's dogs are outside, so she wants to be outside and barking. And no. I got these, which were on the front of a Pixie. Pixie Louise. Lily. Stop it. No, 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 no. I said no, now quit. These were on the cover of a uh, little notebooks from Dollar Tree. I got last year, or, you know, before I moved. It was like uh, September, I guess, when I got them. I cut them off the covers, and I figured I could use that to make texture on the thing. Plus... I can use these as a stencil. I don't know how good they'll come clean depending on what I use as far as what medium I use on it, but it's okay. If they get messy, whatever. I have a broken pick. I love this thing. <laughs> I figure I could use that to make textures down into the print. This was a shelf liner. It's got a different type of tech like a print to it. So I'm going to see if I can get something with that. I don't know if I will. Some little bubble wrap. And this was a net bag that marbles were in that I got. Some marbles. So I'm going to see if I put that down. What will come out of that. I don't know if anything. You never know. And then... Something I'm going to try to remember to put on every one of my pieces. Whoops. Sorry about that. I'm going to have to keep something there. Uh, something I'm going to put on all of my pieces if I remember to is because my nickname is Spanky. <laughs> I've been going by it for a very long time. But <laughs> I got these little hand handprints. And I'm going to incorporate these in all the happy mails I send out. Many different colors. These are just a few that I punched out for this. I'm going to put some down and do some jelly prints with them, I think. <coughs> Plus, I have a ton of stencils that uh, I made last year. I went stencil happy with my cameo. So, a cameo and cut out a ton of stencils. So... I'll be using some of those. And one of my favorite stencils that I cut out, I can show you a sneak peek. So last night, Squirrel and I were 
video streaming after we watched Melissa's live last night and we were Facebook video chatting and he wanted to see the shaving cream and food coloring technique because I was messing around the other day. So I showed him how that was and he was very in, intrigued and impressed. So then after that, um, I was going to do some more shaving cream, but I figured, oh, I got something I can show you. And I said, Melissa does this in her stream sometimes, one of her videos. And we, I showed him the marble, marbles with paint in the box rolling around. So he picked the colors and then I did use one of my two of my stencils that I made and we made this last night. I love it. Whoops, there we go. The background is so cool. I posted a picture in the group of it and it says find adventure, discover your dreams and begin to fly. And it's one of my favorite I love it and it's funny because I've never made things like this I make a lot of stuff but I am um, I just am very unsure of my mixed media stuff and I was very impressed with this last night I was very proud of myself so yay for me but that's one thing we did and there's something else we were working on and I can't show that yet but I can show the outcome of uh, this is a stencil I had cut out and we had to get the paint up off my table <laughs> not we more or less I but it's like we because he was there the whole time basically but so I just flipped this over and got some prints up so this is one of my favorite stencils I love it and this I made it myself on my cameo silhouette so I just I, put, I cut out a ton of stencils last year. I've got quite a few. Some are like um, just geometric shapes and things like that, but there's some really good ones. <clears throat> I just found the image online and made it. So yeah, so that's one of my favorite pages. Maybe somebody will get it in a happy meal one day. But I'm going to use this as my runoff book for my brayer and you know excess paints <coughs> but I wanted to show you guys that that's my one of my favorite stencils um that's what I have as far as for texture end of a paintbrush I, I have to get a few things yet it seems like I got a lot of things but I like I really don't there's a lot of things I don't have, but in due time, in due time, I do a lot of sewing and make a lot of um, quilts. So a lot of things I have referred to around sewing and quilt making and fabrics and a lot of fabric. I uh, get uh, do the junk journaling and things like that. So but my I'm going to do a videos on how to make a junk journal, but it's going to be a prayer journal for the girl Marie I work with, but she no longer works there now, so I'm going to miss her, but we're going to hang out and such, and I've got some stuff to add to it and things like that, so I'm going to do a video on me making a journal, my, my steps, my techniques, you know, that I've gotten over the years over different videos I've watched and things like that half of the I don't know half of them because I'm subscribed to a lot of channels but if I can think of the ones who inspired me or gave me the idea I'll try to remember to give them credit because I don't have list of names and things but that's one thing I need to start doing is when somebody does something I was like oh I want to try that I can write it down and check it out so let's get started I don't know how long this video is going to be I'm going to try and keep it around an hour 
I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> and let's, whoops, let's keep this up here for now because we're just going to go out of focus if I don't. I'm going to do, I'm on a color kick right now with like aqua green and pinks. Pink's my go-to color. I love pink. So we're just going to use some of these colors. I've not done jelly print. I tried the other day messing around, but I just didn't feel like I was getting it or I was missing a step or something. Ew, that's gross. But I know I'm gonna, it's a trial and error. dab of that color down there and we're out of focus sorry about that I got to figure out this autofocus thing and I don't know my lighting's been really weird so I gotta get that figured out I shouldn't have to hold a quiz no card <laughs> And I'm not sure how to turn autofocus off. I have to check into that. I got a different webcam and I don't even know how to use softwares for it yet. So, and I can't pause it. I have to stop it and then start again. So that's going to be really weird, but you know, so we're going to use this one, I guess. It seems like it wants to stick. My brayer doesn't really want to roll. If you see it, you can kind of, I guess when I pull the print up, you'll be able to see what I mean by the marks that it leaves. I have envelopes and paper that I'll be working with. Ugh. I'm just use some paper for now. I probably get a paper and an envelope on here part of an envelope. I got a bunch of envelopes from my ex-boyfriend's work. They changed their building location so I got boxes of envelopes that were thrown out basically. That's nice. So I'll pick up the rest of it down here to get that side. And I'm not sure if it's because this is a new jelly plate or what, because I've never really dabbled in jelly print like this. It seems like the paint dries super fast on this. I, I assumed it would be wet longer, but it doesn't really seem like that. I'm just trying to get excess paint up that's left down there, cover the envelope good. I don't want to waste none. It's coming up pretty good. It seems the plate seems very sticky. <laughs> A little bit more here. That's not too bad. I love the pink in there. That's the back side. Uh, let's see what this one does. Oh, that pulled a lot up. If you look on this one, you can see the lines in it. The white line down here. That's from the brayer. two bonus spots to set it. I don't know if that's normal. If anybody knows. I don't know. Maybe it's, I think it's just my Brera's paws. So I'm going to try some black. I probably should have 
cleaned this beforehand, but I didn't think about that, so I'm sorry. I don't even know how to clean it. I guess I just wipe it off with the paints, but or paints. Duh. Wipe it off with baby wipes and stuff, and I don't, can I wash it? I need to find that out. If I can wash it in the sink or something. Rinse it off under the water in the sink, you know. Can I use soap and water with it, or how am I supposed to do that type thing? Oh. I got some black and magenta. Ooh, this is pretty. I think I'm going to put my clock stencil down. And see what I get. That looks like a lot of black on there. Yeah, that's a lot of black. It looks like a lot of black anyway, so I don't know if it is. But I should have put gloves on. <laughs> so my hands don't get painted for staying with paint because I have to work tomorrow. So I'm hoping my hands don't get stained. So we're going to put this down. I'll set it up here right in the middle put this over oh I should have done it the other way dang it I should have gone backwards with that now it's going to be backwards on my paper instead of the right direction but that's okay get another piece of paper ready so when I pull that stencil up I can lay it right down onto another piece of paper and I can get that print from there so, get that ready. Oh, I like that. The black was really prominent, but you can see some of the pink through it. That turned out really good. I like that one. And we're going to try and pick up the stencil and drop it down. I can use this other brayer here and roll it down. I'll leave that sit there for just for a second. Bring this more prints up. Oh, my paper moved. That's nice. I really like that. You can kind of see the clock through that one right there. That's nice. I really like that. Somebody's calling the phone. There's that one. That turned out okay. Kind of like that one. Get some of that color on the side there. There you go. That one turned out good. I'm going to paint all over my hands. See if I can get some more of this picked up onto that envelope. I could see how this could be addicting. <laughs> Very addicting. Trying to get some more of that pink on that. There we go. I like that so far. Oops. A lot of black on that one. I don't think that's a big deal, really. And I'm going to put this other piece of paper down on that so I can get the rest of that. I'll try to get some more of that color up. 
I'm going to pull the stencil up now so I can get that in the water so I can wash it. I have a dish pan of water. There we go. I have a dish pan of water over here so I can put my stencils in to clean them. Oops, and I just ran my hand through that. Are you kidding me? Shoot. Huh. Go figure. I wasn't thinking, obviously. <laughs> Duh. Oh, I got some of the green up in that one uh, from the last one. Like, I don't know. Are you supposed to clean this after every, like, wipe your plate off after each time? Or can you do multiple layers? I'm not sure how to do this. If somebody knows any like tips and tricks, let me know. I'm gonna put this up. Oops. Okay. That's a lot of paint on there. This still. Oh, it's all right. I'm just going to leave it down there. Throw some yellow on. Get up in there. Maybe some red. This is cadmium red. See how that goes. On my book. I like that. If I set that down there, I can get top of the envelope too. I'll put this one that way. I guess I could just roll the brayer right over that, huh? That'll work. Yeah, I don't really care for that bird too much, but. Oh, that one looks nice. That looks like flames right there. Focus, maybe? There we go. Right up here, that looks like flames. Oh, that pattern is different down there. That one got some of the black up, but that's okay. This is definitely a messy process, let me tell you. I like that. That looks like a graffiti wall. Grungy looking. That's nice. I'll set that there. I don't think there's much paint left in some of the areas, but pull up with what I can.
try and get all the areas. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Let's see if I can get some right there. Oh, I like that. Sorry for the lighting and glares. I'm still struggling with that. I gotta get that part figured out. I will be right back. I'm gonna go wa rinse, wipe this down real quick and wash my hands off real quick. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> so, let's see here. I have a stencil down. It's got gears and keys and such on it. So we're gonna use that. I pull out a couple other stencils to put down also. Oh, hmm. I'm not sure what color I want to use. I think I'll put some blacks and browns down. And then we're doing the out of focus again. I don't know where I put my card at either. I just had it too. And now I don't know where I stuck it. Sorry. I'm going to put it down in the bottom corner. I'm going to add just a tad bit of yellow to it. In some spots. I'm going to put the black at the top. I'm trying to figure out where my stencil is. Just a little bit of blue. I don't think I got enough paint on this one. top of that get a spot ready for that second print from the stencil up and I, oh and I used the wrong bird that time <laughs> that's okay I don't like how that burr works so oh yeah that one didn't work very good I don't think I had enough paint down it still looks nice I don't think I had enough paint down well, let's try it again wax You get all my hand. I gotta learn not to wipe my hands on my pants. Ugh. I'll put a little more brown up on this one. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I don't like this very, very well. It doesn't seem to roll very good. It just pulls it. Off. 
going to roll it over the back side. Way too much paint on that one. That's going to go over here. Way too much paint. Ooh. All right. I'll throw some. And then throw some envelopes down and pick up that excess paint. Different. I have my ruler sitting here so I can set these envelopes in it just to have a place to hang. I'm just going to pull that stencil up and then get the print that way. Possibly. Oh, that's nice. We're just going to put this in my. Oh, I'll lay it down really quick on some paper actually to try to get that much of it. So I'm going to put a paper on top. See what kind of transfer I get from that. I think I'll get that design. I don't. I think so. I don't remember. Oops. Um, put the rest of that stencil down there. That's from the stencil. I don't think that's bad. I'm going to put that in the water. I try to put them in the water as soon as I use it so it doesn't get stained up and the paint comes off easier. Oh. No, that's nice. That looks cool. Different. Different than what I was thinking what was going to be there. It looks like I might be able to get a couple envelope ones from this. rest of this. Maybe. Oh, now that's cool. Use my ruler down there to help get that pressed down in there because I can't really reach it from this angle. Definitely different. I kind of like that envelope. I'm going to have to get a clothes rack or something up in here. <laughs> and we'll throw some more yellow down this. Maybe a little green. And there goes my phone again. And we're going 
probably a stencil down. This is some circles, just different types of circles. Or like a chain link circle, not different types, but chain link. Throw an envelope down here. Oh, got two pieces of paper on that one. Whoops. Didn't quite have the edge of that done. There we go. Get the flap. I don't like that. I'll try and fill in some of this bare spot on there. Okay, so this will be the end of my jelly prints coming up because I'm going to dinner with mom and dad. Yay! So that's what this is. I don't know why the glare is so bad. I'm sorry. Oh, it's one of my lights. I don't know which light. Oh, there we go. Maybe that'll work. I kind of like that. Okay, we're going to put this down again and see what I can get on this one. I think I can get another circle and then we'll lay that stencil on top yeah there we go that wasn't bad that turned out good too i'm definitely running out of space to put these get a piece of paper ready Lay that right down. Use my brayer over the top of this, and it's a stencil there. So, yeah. hopefully, I get a good print on that. Well, that was nice. That would turn out good. I don't think I can get any more off from this. We're going to try that corner though. Maybe I can get a little bit off from that side. Eh, not much, just a little bit. I'm going to put that one in the water. And set that one off on the side. And I'll do one more piece of paper with that one. That one looks like a little not gonna get much on that I don't think. I'll just go whoops. Made a mess already. some of it. That was not bad. I like that design. That's kind of cool. Maybe get an envelope. I'm 
trying to cover up the address that's on here. It's from his old work. So their old address from before they moved was still there. I want to add a little bit of blue on there. Actually, I think I still got some paint on here. <laughs> We're just going to burr the back side of that. There we go. That's kind of cool looking. Hope you guys can see the coloring good. I'm not sure my lighting is probably off a little bit. Well, I didn't get to use all the stuff I was wanting to. Maybe I'll do one more. Using some of the other things I have. We'll throw down some more black. I, I like using the black. Stuff. I'm going to use that net from the marble package. And, whoops, I put a little bit of a few bubble wrap spots on here. See how well that works. And I'm just going to take this bubble wrap one and lay it on that. I'm just pressing the envelope into the bubble wrap just to get that excess paint off that bubble wrap. Kind of nice effect. I kind of like that. That's kind of cool. Polka dots. Everything that needs to be rinsed off, I'm sticking in my water. So, let's see how this turns out. Oh, not what I was expecting. Hmm. Oh, there we go. That's not bad. It's kind of nice. Maybe if I put some other color over that, it might help. Paper here. Oh, see, I like that one. That one turned out really good. Like that. I'll add stencils and other things to these when they dry. Maybe that'll be my next video. 
see if I can get some of that texture onto this one. Sorry if that's loud. Oh, I didn't think about that. Oh. I don't know if you can see that right there. Polka dots. That's cool. Add some of that green onto this side. There we go. There. There. That one's done. I think I'm going to add a little more. I'm going to add a little more green to that, I think. It's aqua green, not like regular green. Got my finger stuck in the roller. Oh, I like that one too. Definitely running out of room. Oh, maybe we'll add some circles. I don't know what kind of textures that'll give. And then I'll do a couple envelopes and then we'll have to call it good. You can kind of see the circle in prints. That's cool looking. Green there. Okay. Some color down there. And we're just going to use that. Throw some of this color off. I'll have to tape that envelope shut because I just rolled right over the licky part. not thinking about it which is fine if I'm sending these international possibly for happy mail etc for the flocking friendship journal thing uh, it'll be all right if I tape it anyways so then I'll know it to be there safe like that My room's going to be all covered. <laughs> We're just going to lay that down there. And that on top. I don't think I'll get much of a print on that. Maybe. Eh, not bad. It gave a little bit of a print to it. Kind of like that. Definitely sticks to that. Probably because the paint's getting a little dried. I don't know if I'm supposed to wipe it off between 
ones or not, but I think that's how you get the different layers of texture. I don't know. But I'd say my paint's pretty well dried now because it's just pulling chunks of the paint up. So I probably just have to, yeah. I'd say that one was dried up. But I like all these prints. So I'll come back after dinner and I'll, all these should be dried by then and I'll do a quick addition onto this of everything that's we made. So I hope you guys enjoy my first video. I'm still a little new and hopefully it's fun and I know I'll improve as time goes. Uh, this is my favorite one I think so far. But I will see you guys after a while. So, bye. Hey guys, I'm back. I'm stopped. Not in a good way. So we went to Chili's for dinner. Mom and Dad were gifted some gift cards after the house fire. And so we went out and had dinner tonight. And it was, I was not impressed. Neither was mom and neither was dad. It was... Mom and I had like sliders. The buns were dry. I had to ask for a refill. And the waitress like kept going by and seeing. So that was annoying. But yeah, we were not impressed with our... <laughs> at all. Dad got a prime rib and yeah... For four of us, the price was, yeah, it was not worth it. We'll be going back there at all. Definitely not. Um, Yeah, no. Oh. It was, yeah, I was not impressed. I, I was not happy. My burger wasn't even cooked 100%. Yeah, not impressed at all. Anyways, I'm going to show you. Real quick, my the appearance that I did in the video, and sun's behind me, directly behind me, so I'm hoping I have the glare blocked. But so we'll take a look at these. This is one I did yesterday. It was a print from that the from the book ones I showed you. This was like leftover that was still on the table, so I wanted to show that one. I really like it. There's the this was what was on the stencil when I put the stencil down today. That was that. And there's just excess pickup. An envelope. This one was the one you can kind of see the clock right in there. On it. It's nice. Let's see if I can get more light. No, maybe too much glare. Yeah, you can kind of see the clock up in there. And that one. Not quite sure how that black dot got in the middle, but it's kind of funny. Oh, I didn't show the back of that one. There's the back of that one. This is still my favorite. I don't know. I, don't, I like it. It's my favorite. It doesn't even have none of my favorite colors in there either, so. And that one with one of my homemade stencils. I think this one was just picking up the excess paint. And that one. I need to make some stencils that are more this size. So I can cover like a whole sheet with it. So I think that'd be alright. Not bad. And this was that excess paint from the bubble wrap. I kind of like that one. There's the back. Yeah, I came home, took Pixie out, fed Pixie, and washed all my stencils off and my brayers off and got my jelly plate cleaned. 
There's that one. Oh, this one's stuck. Come on, there we go. That one. Back. <clears throat> that one. I kind of like that design. It's kind of cool. This was just what was on that brayer the one time. They didn't really do much on the back with that one. Just getting the brayer clean. That one. That one really didn't turn out too bad. It's kind of cool looking. I like this one. I don't know if you can really see it in the video much, but there's some pink in there. Up in here. There's some pink there, down there at the bottom, over on the side. This one's really cool. This one's got the pink in there. This envelope. The key one. This one's kind of cool. This one. That was with that net from and some of the bubble wrap there from the um, it was that net bag from the marbles that I used for that. Same with this one. Some more of the chain. The key on the envelope. Back. Yeah. This one is cool too. Kind of like that one too. Envelope. This one's kind of trippy looking. Um, key print one. There's the key, skeleton key, clock pieces, gears. What the heck was that? <laughs> I got my window open in the craft room because it's really hot in here. And... Uh -huh. I don't know why these stuck. Oh, it's probably because it's so humid. Or well, not humid, but warm in here. This ha these have tech like a really good texture to them. I don't know if you can see it. I can't really see it. It's got a really good texture. It's almost it feels like it kind of looks like a fingerprint design like veins. It's kind of cool looking. I don't know how to get it to where you can see it really. Oh, there you go, right there in the bottom, right here. It's kind of cool. That one. This one's got the texture to it, too. This is the one I did with the circles. The That piece there. Excess off from the net. That was kind of cool. This is what was on the brayer after I rubbed it over to get most of the extra off. And then that piece. Bubble wrap. Yeah. So I'm going to mess with these and probably do some stenciling on some. I don't know yet. So I hope you guys enjoyed my first YouTube video. And yes, there will be more. Hope I won't be so shy. <laughs> I guess. On the next ones. We'll see. But So thank you for watching. And don't forget to hit the like button. And subscribe if you haven't already. And if you 
aren't a member yet, you can join my group. Send an, it's a, um, on Facebook, Spanky's Crafty Corner. I'll put the link in the description box below. And hope to see you there. Bye.